This video is going to be talking about the server manager, what the configurations do, as well talking about some of the callbacks that you can access by the code. There are several managers that you can do this with. To find those out, just add the network manager prefab to your scene or just a network manager script on an empty object and hit play. And then you'll see the network manager populate with all of the managers being added to it. And this is a good way to know if a manager or component has extra settings that you can access by adding it manually. The first field is the authenticator. If you have a custom authenticator process, you can drop that in here and the server will use it. Next is the frame rate. This is the frame rate that the server will run at. This is when you are building as server only or if the server is running and the client is not. Frame rate is not the same thing as the tick rate. The tick rate is how often data will send over the server. And the frame rate is how many frames per second the server will run at. The frame rate should be at least a tick rate. If it does happen to be slower, it will automatically bump up to the tick rate. While share owners is true, the owners of objects are shared over the network to clients. This means even if you do not own the object yourself, you can see which connection does own that object. It also means you can see what objects connections have. Having share owners check does not actually reveal any sensitive information. There is no IP addresses or anything unique like that given away. If you want to conceal what objects other players have, you might want to leave share owners unchecked. Otherwise, it's generally fine checked. With start on headless enabled, the server socket will automatically start as soon as the application launches. This is only applicable in server slash headless builds. Limit client MTU is a form of protection which while enabled will disallow clients from sending any packets larger than the MTU on the transport. For example, if a client were to send a reliable packet larger than 1200 bytes, they would be kicked from the server. While unchecked, you may override the maximum MTU allowed. Using zero will allow clients to send an unlimited amount of data per packet. While the option is present, this is typically not a great idea. Now I'm in the main server manager script so that we can look at the public events and fields. First is the on server connection state. This event is invoked anytime the local server changes its connection state. For example, if you were to start the server, this would call with a state update of starting and then started. This event does not fire for clients, it's for the local server only. Next is on authentication result. This is invoked whenever a client tries to authenticate. It includes the connection trying to authenticate as network connection and a boolean which will be true if they authenticated successfully. It's common to believe that once a client is authenticated you can perform actions on them and that is true but you may be better off using the on client loaded start scenes callback in the scene manager. This callback occurs after the client has been loaded into your game's global scenes while on authentication result calls before. Back in the server manager is on remote connection state. This is invoked anytime a remote client's connection state changes such as becoming connected or or disconnecting. Next is the started boolean. This is true if the server connection state is started. Typically you'll be using is server in network behaviors or the instance finder instead. Objects is of server objects type and holds mostly internal logic handling networked objects. It is however public because within managed objects, which server and objects inherits from, you may access all currently spawned objects. This is also true for the client manager objects variant. Clients is a collection containing the network connection and ID of each remote client connected. Even if a client is in this list, it does not necessarily mean they have authenticated or loaded start scenes yet. A client could be in the list and potentially even be disconnecting. When using this collection, be sure to check the state of the network connection. And last is the network manager field, which is exposed but mostly for internal use to provide quick access to the network manager. 